morning going to do a little a vlog today check me out saying vlog like a social media influencer i don't even know where to look <laughs> it is 6 30 a.m and i have to get up early on sundays because i'm teaching all day from 8 30. we've all got to do some recording for manners first today so that's the plan i'm gonna to head to the studio now at the studio now 6 40 a.m I go grab all my stuff. Left the lights on. So, for a day at the office, got the essentials. Backpack with all my laptop camera and everything in. Got my flask. Essential and got the old lunchbox. Got Tyrannosaurus Rex lunchbox. Best place on earth. Loaded the audio into Logic, so I'm going to listen to the track for the first time. See what Manners has got for me today. Got the structure sorted. It's not too bad, actually. Quite a nice, nice song. Well done to him. And then I'm just going to quickly listen once more and get all the little nuances in. Just going to show you the equipment I'm planning to use on this recording for Manners. For the first couple of takes, anyway, I'll send it to him and then see what he thinks. Recording for Manners is pretty cool. He trusts me quite a lot because I've recorded with him a lot. And I've got his playlist, so I know what he's listening to at the minute. So I try and recreate those sounds. So I'm going for a really, really dead sound on this. I've got a 14-inch uh, Black Panther snare drum with a really old drum head and the big fat snare drum. I'm not planning on using any of the kit other than that. Hi-hat bass drum, potentially the ride cymbal, and then I've got this floor tom where I've put loads and loads, I think I've got like five or six of these little O-rings on to keep the sound really, really dead. I don't know if the phone will pick it up, but I'll just show you how dead a sound I'm going for. Really dry, thinking like ash sown kind of dryness. Going to do a couple of takes now. I've got the music on the stand now with manners. I try to do three takes. One really basic, one how I think it should be, and one really busy so he can choose. I should add, he always goes for the most basic one. So I don't know why I even bother with the other two. Just on the off chance. I've done a couple of takes with this setup and uh, I've realised that I don't like that snare drum very much at all. It's not going to give Joe very much room to mix. So I'm going to try with a different snare now. Completely different direction now. Snare 1, Mapex Black Panther 14 inch old head, big fat snare drum on it. Snare 2, Pearl Omar Hakim Signature 13 inch. Make me believe, make me believe you can. I can spin a yarn for you. So it's 8.25 now and I start teaching at 8.30. So I've got to set my laptop up, get ready for the Skype lessons. I've got a couple of gaps today because it's Father's Day, which means that I can uh, maybe do a little bit of recording later. So I might start again. Um, if not, I finish at, what time do I finish? 
7pm uh, today, which is earlier than normal. Normally I don't finish till 8.30, so I might be able to do a bit more recording tonight. I've got another track to do for somebody else as well. So I might show you a bit of that as well. So I've just been teaching for two hours and I've got a half hour gap now. I've worked out, I've looked at my diary, I've got uh, three 30 minute gaps between now and 7.15. So this first gap, I'm going to have a listen to all of the uh, audio that I've just recorded. Make sure that I like what I've done and then hopefully take out all my EQ and everything. Get it sent to Joe Jackson so that him and Manners can have a listen. Hopefully have a listen now and then if they're not happy by 7.15 I'll be able to start and re-record it then got four takes now so i'm going to send them off to joe and manners see what they think to it one with the old snare three with the new get their feedback and then maybe try again later okay so i'm going to show you a little bit of the drums i've recorded now um i should note that these are very very rough recordings so manners and joe will have recorded a guide track that's just him singing with an acoustic guitar really really rough i'll then record the drums to that and then they will re-record to my drums. So this isn't anywhere near the finished article. Just wanna, just wanna let you know that this is literally just a rough guide track for me to get the structure, me to play drums to, and then they will re-record to me. So this is track one with the uh, dodgy snare drum that I didn't like. So you can see why I don't like it. It's really, really boomy, really thuddy, sounds rubbish. He won't be able to do much with that. So then I re-recorded it and it came out like this. So this is the uh, second snare drum, the Pearl Omar Hakim Signature 13 inch. Really nice snare drum, always records great. Sounds like this. Obviously, I'll mix that. I've just got a load. You can hear the reverb and everything. I've just got a rough mix that I put on just so I can hear what it's going to sound like. And then it'll be all mixed and sent to Joe for him to mix properly. Just wanted to show you the uh, fourth take. This one's a little bit more busy. This is the one I think it should be, um, but it probably won't be. He'll definitely go for the more simplified version because he likes his stuff groovy. Whereas I obviously look at it from a drummer's point of view. So I'll just show you a little bit of this, a bit more symbol in it. His one... Uh, his one thing that he told me when I called him yesterday when he was on the phone asking me about this recording, he said, just don't have too much cymbal. And that's the only uh, bit of advice he's given me on what to record. Obviously, he trusts me quite a lot, hopefully. So I'll just play you a bit of this. just exported all the stems unmixed ready to send to joe so i'm going to do that right now um i'm going to do that while i'm teaching so i'm going to go teaching again now for a little bit and then i'll keep you updated with what i'm doing after that it is now just gone 1 p.m oh you can't see that Which is at my favourite part of the day, lunchtime. Got the uh, T Rex lunchbox, standard for any 34 year old. Great. Uh, got a nice little sandwich in there. <laughs> um, and I'm, I've got another half hour gap. So in this gap, I'm going to call my dad because obviously it's Father's Day today. I haven't spoke to him yet, I've been too busy. I'm um, going to ring him, I'm going to stand outside for a little bit because I've been stuck in this room all day finish teaching a bit more uh yes yeah, so i've got half an hour to eat my dinner speak to my dad and then if i get time i'm going to quickly look at another track that i've got to record later today hopefully in the third gap i'll do that joe and manners haven't downloaded my wii transfer yet <laughs> standard so i'm going to wait for them to download it and then give me some feedback so i know whether i need to re-record later tonight or not and then i'll do that i'm in the third and final break now I've just heard back from James, 
James Manners, Manners, I keep calling him Manners, I realise not everyone knows who Manners is. It's James Manners, he's a great artist, you should check him out. James Manners Music on Instagram. Uh, check him out, he's really good. I play with him in Total Strangers. And we've got a function band together as well that we play people's weddings and stuff. He's great, great artist. And a really nice guy, one of my best friends. Um, so I've heard from him and Joe and they're both happy with the take. They've picked take two, which I knew they would. That was the most basic take with the new snare drum. Um, so I could save myself a load of time there, but it's better to give options than just, you know, just send one option and that's it. They've listened to all of them and picked the one that they like the best, which is great. Um, so that means that I'm fairly chilled out now. I've got another recording to do for somebody else that I'll get done, definitely get done today now. And then I've got some pre-recorded lessons because uh, obviously some of my school students can't have lessons at the minute with the current situation with coronavirus. So I've been doing pre-recorded lessons for YouTube doing it unlisted uh 18 20 minute long lesson so i've got two of those to record i've got it written out in sebadia so i've just got to actually record the video and uh that's it i've got them to do and then just youtube covers youtube uh lessons that i've been doing i've started doing that ready for summer so that my students have got something to practice over summer when i'm not so busy I just realize you can see my wine comes in the background there on my desk hilarious uh, so yeah, I've still got plenty to be doing and I'm here again tomorrow. I've been trying to limit my time at the studio and then I edit a lot of the videos at home, trying to spend more time at home in the current situation. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to carry on recording anyway and then um, keep it going. Cheers. Okay, I finished teaching for the day. The time is 7.25pm. Uh, so I'm just going to record one more song now. This is uh, nothing to do with the with the charity this is a different song that i've got to record for somebody else um the the premise i've been given is that it's got to be like a classic rock uh, west end tune that kind of vibe classic rock and west end uh both of those my forte <laughs> love both of those massively so this should be fun So I've finished recording that song now. I had to do two extra takes because like an idiot, I left my monitors on so you could hear the vocals bleeding through. So I've had to redo two of those. It's sounding pretty decent now. I'm just gonna have a quick listen to it. So this is the end of that song, unmixed. I've just got my rough template mix here so you can hear it. I'll take it home and mix it over the next few days. I like to get all my recording done Sunday and Monday while I'm here teaching anyway. That's why the day seems so long, uh, but it's actually not that bad. And then I'm going to take it out and mix it over the next couple of days, probably tomorrow night or another time in the week. So I'll let you listen to it now so you can hear what it sounds like. Like I said, this is just a rough template mix. It'll get mixed properly. symbols at the end should say for that recording i used the pearl omar hakim signature snare again because i got a good sound with it early on i liked it i was going to go for one of my beefier rocky snares i was going to use that bad boy there uh, but it wasn't tuned and i couldn't be bothered getting on so i just used this one it sounded great used three toms i didn't bother with the fourth one and then symbols wise i used my trusty 13 inch knz's uh, didn't use splash it's an aa el sabor uh, Sabian, mine or Byzance, just because it's the one that I had on. I do change symbols regularly. I've got loads down there and loads more in my case. And then uh, AAX Omni on the right. And then uh, this Zildjian S Trash Crash. It's the greatest thing ever. I bought it to crack it, to mix with my uh, sp spiral thing, stacker, spiral stacker. But it sounds so great, I'm keeping it. It sounds amazing, really like it. So that's what I used. And then the drums of Mapex Saturn 3, DW pedals. Cool. And that's it. Another day at the office done. It is nearly 8.30 p.m. 
and the sun's still really, really bright. It's a bit mad, actually. I was expecting it to be dark out here. Uh, I've enjoyed my vlogging. I'm going to go home now, have a nice bath. Definitely won't film that. Going to have a nice cup of tea. Oh, God, that is bright. Nice cup of tea and have my actual dinner. Hopefully something tasty. Maybe something tasty. I'm big, I'm starving. Right, I've enjoyed my first day vlogging. Woohoo! In the bag. Next up, I might, uh, might vlog myself at the zoo or something. Else. Right, cheers. See you later. Bye. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this first vlog. It was done uh, because me and some friends of mine are recording an album for charity for uh, an organisation called Calm that help with uh, suicide, especially in men. People can ring it 24 hours a day and get advice and stuff. And in lockdown, it's obviously a bad time for some people. So that's the reason I was doing the vlog. We're trying to raise a £1,000 to release an album. Um, and one of the things we'd, we said was, if we vlog a little bit, it'll raise a little bit of awareness. Um, so I was just adding these to my story all day. Um, so that's why they're in little snippets. So I just wanted to say that and just just try and raise a little bit of awareness to it. Hopefully it'll go a little bit further than just my Facebook page and my Instagram. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on my YouTube now. And then we're still taking donations. The uh, I'll put the web address in, in the link. Not in the link. I'll put the link in the description to that uh, to that charity to the thing that we're doing. We're gonna be releasing an album for it, so I might do a few more vlogs of some of the other things that I record because I'm gonna re be recording all the drums for it and just uh, take you behind the scenes and show you some of the stuff I do. And it's just nice to see what it's like to be a professional musician in lockdown. It's it's been a bit of a strange time to be honest. A lot more recording than normal. Obviously no gigs, so I thought. I may as well do it and then I can look back on it as well. It'll be interesting. A lot of recording, a lot of teaching. I'm doing a lot of Skype lessons and a lot of pre-recorded lessons as well. So it's been a bit of a steep learning curve. I've not I've done quite a bit of recording in the past, but it's always in studios, never in my own home studio. And I've had it set up for a while now, so it's been it's been good to learn how to use it properly and learn to mix better and you know, I'm having to send tracks off to people with my mixing in it, which I haven't done very much. I'm getting a lot better at it and editing videos as well. I mean, at the minute, my equipment's shocking. It's terrible. Um, but I think I'm going to, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm going to upgrade and start doing it a bit more, taking it a bit more seriously. I'm doing pre-recorded lessons for YouTube now as well. Just putting some lessons up for my students over summer to keep them interested in drumming because I'm not, I can't make them pay for lessons when they wouldn't normally have them at school. And I don't want to do that either. So I'm going to just put a load of free lessons up for all my students. I think that's that's a nice thing to do as well. And it's going to be fun for me. It's nice to uh, have a little YouTube channel. Up to uh, 100 and something followers now. Legendary. So it's going to get better. And I'm having fun. It's good. So I might put some more vlogs up as well. Vlogs. Listen to me. It'll be good. Right, cheers.